Raw eyes and shine, wild ones. It's Bernadette, and I'm here with your pick a card tarot reading for this Saturday, February sixth, two thousand twenty-one. And you'll understand in just a second when I said raw eyes and shine because uh, you know. So today, the, the chakra is the third eye chakra, right? And lo and behold, uh, the kookiest thing happened. I drew a card, got the crown sifaka. And, you know, it's a, it's a type of lemur. They're just, they're very cool. You know, listen, all animals to me are cool, right? So I'm sitting in meditation and I'm like, okay, well, what, what is this card really supposed to mean today? And all I could see were the crown um, Safaka's eyes. Now it's a little harder to see in the card, but if you look them up online, um, the Safakas are really well known for their eyes because they're a bluish green which is highly unusual in an animal. And then they've got that bluish green set against that, you know, darker tuft on their head. So it really, really makes it pop out. And in just in terms of, you know, spirit, totem and power animal meanings and symbolism, that crown, that furry part on the top of the Savaka's head is definitely a call to, the, to pay special attention to the crown chakra. So I'm sitting in this meditation for you guys this morning and all I could see were eyes everywhere. And, and because their eyes are so unusual, I was told, you know, listen, uh, cause I, you know, spirit jokes with me. <laughs> it's, it's easiest to get me to understand something if you turn it into a joke. Right. And so spirit said the eyes have it. And I was like, well, that's an interesting new interpretation this week and last week, some, but really this week, it has been all about the the animal allies the spirit guides bringing new fresh more expansive and way deeper um ways of connecting symbolically uh energetically with you know with the animal allies you know being in a deeper relationship with them because i've never had this come through before and i'm i'm starting to sound like i've never had this come through before i've never had this come through before i've never but it is and i love it because it's just opening up everything in just so many different ways. So here's the message for today about the Crown Safaka. So yes, they're lemurs. And um, this particular card is out of the Moms and Babies uh, expansion pack for the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. And if you're just joining me, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Wild Pack. For those of you that have been with me, you know, um, a long time and very gracious in supporting me. Happy Saturday. And... Um, I read from uh, my Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, which is uh, based on the Rider Waite Tarot, but then there are 22 extra bonus cards in there that are Oracle cards, and uh, you don't have to use it as a tarot deck at all. You can just use it, you know, with all the animal symbolism and whatnot. You can just use it to work with your animal spirit guides. So as I ask for more and more information to be fed, you know, uh, lemurs, lemurs at large, but definitely the crown safaka, they have the ability, you know, they have relatively short arms for their size, but their legs, they can propel themselves 30 feet in one jump, 30 feet y'all. So obviously that's going to be a call for you to understand that, or maybe even set the intention that if there's a big leap that you want to make, that you need to make, Man, you can channel you can channel Safaka energy like nobody's business, and and your 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 base your legs will be up under you your your legs will be up under you to support you in such a way that you'll very easily make that leap and land just as great um you know with great steadiness just great steadiness and the thing is is you can do that up at a high level because they do that in the treetops so. Let's say that you want to propel your psychic abilities, right? Let's say that you want to propel in your job. Let's say that you want to propel a relationship or whatever. Set your sights at a very high... There it is again. Set your sights. Man, this is unfolding. I love these kinds of readings. Um, set your sights to do things high level. Don't settle for what you've been doing. Don't allow yourself to say, well, I, you know, I don't think I can do it at that level, or I don't think I can get to that level, because that is bot loan E. Yes, you can. And Safaka will be there to support you, especially the crown, the crown Safaka, right? So let's say that you're like, ooh, am I getting downloads? Like, am I getting downloads from spirit? Is it coming in my third eye? Is it coming in my crown chakra? Is it coming in both? 
you know, how can I be sure it's not like my imagination um, or, or it really is, a, you know, a message from spirit? Ask, ask Crown Safaka to show you, you know, say, hey, you know, make it clear to me that X, Y, Z is unfolding. And again, don't, don't, don't limit yourself. That's really the easiest way of saying it. Just don't limit yourself. Now, the I thing. When I say that in this meditation, the eyes exploded, holy cow, I saw the, uh, or holy sea cow, because I just went to see the manatees. Uh, I saw the eye of Horus. I saw the eye of Providence. I saw the evil eye. I, I saw every symbol that I know of, every different iteration of that of eyes. And they all were the same, but they were different. And what I was told to share with you all today is, you know, we all know the saying, the eyes are the windows to the soul. But sometimes we don't see people's eyes clearly enough to know what that really means. So for instance, if I ask you what color my eyes are, chances are you're going to say hazel or brown. But this is not going to be very graceful. I didn't practice this. I didn't have any way to practice this. If I get... I can't see if I'm doing it right, but if I get right up to the camera and nobody better put a clip of this on Facebook or anything, okay? I'm telling you now. I don't know if I'm close enough, but if you can see it, my eyes are actually green with a starburst of gold in the middle of them. I don't know if you can see that on camera, um, but I've made enough of a fool of myself for one day. Thank you very much. So uh, it is not until people get very close to me that they see that and they're always like, I've never seen eyes that color, but it's not obvious, right? It's not like Paul Newman blue or, you know, anybody else. It's not like that. Um, and so really what you're being called to do is really see people through their eyes, but for real. <laughs> that sounded so educated, didn't it? Y'all got to see it for real. So <laughs> what I'm trying what I'm trying to get across on this casual Saturday where I think I've pretty much turned my brain off, uh, never my third eye, but maybe my brain is there's a, there's a big call, especially in your family for you to really take a deep look in other people's eyes, but also in your own and see things that you've never seen before. Now that some of that symbolism might mean that you, you, journey with them or through them to see things from their perspective that you haven't been able to see before. Maybe you journey through them with them in, in a way where you're able to better understand how they see you and why their perspective is this way. It very well may be a journey to other worlds. That's entirely possible because remember the dirt, I think I said this earlier, but I think it really just hit me, hit me here that today is the third eye chakra day and I was led to all of these eyes. And I, I don't think I, I know, I know it's not the power of suggestion. Like I know the difference between that feeling and when something is a true message that comes in. So w when you're looking in people's eyes, now, you know, I'm not telling you. To, to go to a local supermarket and be all up in somebody's business. You know, what color are your eyes really? I, I'm not saying that, uh, although that would be fun. And call me and I'll go with you. So it, it's more about taking into consideration a number of things. The first of all, starting with the color of the eye and what the true color of the eye is. And that is both physically and energetically. Um, I'll give you, for instance, because I know you want to have story time on Saturday morning. Uh, because it's, because the story might be a little too close for comfort. I'm just going to say a friend. So many years ago, we're talking 25 years ago, a friend of mine, uh, I, I had to go pick this person up their office and I walked in their office and it, it wasn't too long after I had seen the devil's advocate. If you guys have seen that Keanu Reeves and, uh, mm, I can't think of the other fellow that's in it. Uh, not Robert De Niro, you'll look it up or I might remember it. Uh, and Charlize Theron, it's a great movie. 
And in that movie, there are three women who they're all out, you know, trying clothes on and having a girl's day and that kind of thing. And the one of them turns around and for the briefest moment, her face just turns into this demon face. It's pretty, back then, that was really like, Whoa! well, when I went into the office to wait for my friend, um, this lady turned around and she started walking towards me and I backed up so quick, I hit my head on the cement right by the door. And she just looked at me. And she didn't, because I was like, oh, man. And she didn't bother to ask if I was okay. She just went on about her married business. And when my friend got in the car, I was still kind of a little shaky from it. And she said, are you feeling okay? And I said, well, do you want me to shoot straight with you? She said, of course. And I told her what happened. She said, you just saw that movie. We just saw it together. That's what you're talking about. That's what it looked like, right? I said, exactly. She said, come on. That's your, that's your imagination. I said, let me tell you something. I don't know how long you're going to have to work with this person, but you better watch your back. And so should everybody in that office. I'm not kidding. When, when do you ever see me get like this serious? And she was like, oh, that's a good point. She goes, but you know, I've known this person a long time. I'm like, okay. Now it took 20 years. And that person whose face turned into the demon's face in front of me, uh, you know, she showed her hiney a good few times in the course of those years. But then there came the years that she just stripped off the mask and she's just slap evil. There's no other word for it, evil. And I had seen, it was shown to me many, many years before. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm not saying there are p evil people around you, okay? Don't go running willy nilly out there and think, ah, it's not like that. But what it is like is people who present one way, but when you really look in their eyes, they're not that way at all. And you may be the only person that sees it or feels it at this moment. Stick to your guns because you're right. Your third eye is receiving what their negative, icky, gross, potentially evil, yucky, you get it energy is putting out. You're picking up the vibe that they're putting out, the real vibe, because it's going to come through their eyes. And again, you may be the only one to see it. Now, because this is in the moms and babies, right? This is, is, is going to be very particular to children and to the moms. Family at large, because, you know, lemurs, they have, they're a very matriarchal society. They're run by the matriarchs. <laughs> go lemurs, go lemurs. And there, there will be something that you either are going to need to be kind of in a place of protection for another woman or another mom um, or a child, or you might be in a place where you have got to be the protector against that, you know, and I'm making this sound a lot more dramatic than it might be, but, you know, listen, let's face it, it's life. Dramatic things happen. I did a reading earlier this week. I was like, my God, if I... And here's my magic wand. I keep it in front of me every day. If I could just wave this bibbidi bobby boo and save this family even one ounce of their suffering, I, I, I don't even know what I would do to help them. So sometimes things can be, see, even Hops thinks so. So sometimes things can be so, they can be that dramatic. I don't feel in the collective, you know, in the, in the wild pack, I don't feel like there's anybody watching this video that's having this at this moment, but that might be two days down the road that somebody watches it and has that. But the bottom line is this. Pay attention to people's eyes. Pay attention to the color. Um, look up the color symbolism. You know, green is the rarest color in the world. So if it's somebody with straight up green eyes, there might be, you know, something very rare going on with them or they might be a very rare person. You know, a great person to have in your life, not to have in your life. You know, if the, if the color is gray, you know, that means one thing. If it's brown, they're usually very earth-based people, very, you know, happy-go-lucky, very trustworthy. You know, there's a whole thing about the, the symbolism of the color of eyes, right? But beyond that, I, 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 I just keep hearing the word unusual, unusual, unusual. And you're going to discover something via someone's eyes that is unusual. That's something unusual about them. It may be something unusual that you learn about yourself. But just keep your third eye open to other people's eyes and 
you're being called to, to, to research the symbolism of eyes, the eye of Horus, the eye of Providence, um, which is on the dollar bill. Uh, it was started in, you know, in, in the deeply Christian times as kind of like a symbol of the, of God watching over us. Then, you know, there's the evil eye, the eyes are the windows to the soul, just anything that you can think of that has to do with eyes. Um, research that because it's going to come up in your awareness this week. I, I, I mean, like seriously going to come up in your awareness. So I hope that was helpful. Um, happy Saturday. Pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, step AI wild. <laughs>